trip out here today. Um, Jonathan asked me to be his best man last December when they were visiting in uh, Jonathan's parents' house. And I said immediately, sure, that's great, I'll, I'll definitely do that. And then I started to think, why would he want me to be his best man? I have known him for 14 years. I know every flaw. I have every story. Why would he want to do this to himself? <laughs> And there are two reasons that I'm not going to tell any bad stories today about John. The first is because he's actually a wonderful, wonderful person and, and one of my best friends. And the second reason is because I was also probably involved in most of the stories. <laughs> so I'm going to say it myself. Um, so Jonathan always knows a good thing when he sees it. It just always had to be very deeply discounted in order for him to actually buy it. <laughs> so I'll tell one story, and um, it'll be brief. But um, we, uh, one summer when we were in high school, went to the movies a lot. And the reason we went a lot is because we got free tickets a lot. Um, when we went there, Jonathan would always find a reason for the movie to be inappropriate. The movie theater would either be too hot or too cold. The movie would be too loud or too soft. So I knew that everything had to be perfect for him. And so then he called me and uh, he told me that he met someone when he was in Florida. And I said, oh no, poor Heather. <laughs> and then I met her uh, fairly recently, actually, to lunch in Worcester, and I said, um, wow, she's not too cold, she's not too loud, she's not too soft, but she is pretty hot. <laughs> so uh, from then on, um, I have accepted Heather as, as one of my friends, along with Jonathan, um, and I am very privileged to be here today and uh, to support them through uh, their marriage together and our friendship together for the rest of our lives. So um, I would like everybody to please raise their glasses and join me and Monica and Heather's father in saluting these, this wonderful couple and wishing them happiness for the rest of their lives together. Thank you very much. I'm going to say one more thing. Just because I love the microphone. Uh, the reason why I went, the reason why I went into the whole uncoordinated story and I missed the whole plot of it because I'm nervous was that uh, Heather has been that that's being her only flaw, and I am just so excited from being only 17 months apart and being with her her whole life that I can now hand that responsibility over to Jonathan to be the one to pick her up when she falls. So, <laughs> I had to get that point across and I just thought about it as I was sitting there.